You're watching Trevor Hudson's Deep Spear Fishing Journals with regular uploads and brand new content with your host Trevor Hudson. No holding back, just pure spear fishing action. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Fourth of May, 2015, several miles off the Durban Harbour, east coast of South Africa. This is Trevor's first deep spear fishing dive past 50 meters in Durban waters since 2009. Trevor has generally avoided going deep here because of the proliferation of big sharks. The problem with sharks is that if you shoot a fish at depth, it takes too long to get it to the surface, which gives the sharks ample time to take your catch. Plus, there is obviously the nervous edge, which comes with diving in deep, sometimes murky water with big teeth around. Trevor has Owen Tessendorf riding shotgun with him to about 25 meters to watch his back. But the entire freefall is done completely alone and it takes a lot of mental strength to hold it together for the final 30 to 40 meter drop down to the seabed. As it turned out, Trevor never saw anything on his first dive. No sharks, no fish, and no reef. People don't realize how hard it is when diving in a current and with limited visibility to pinpoint drop onto a small structure, sometimes no bigger than a car, 50 to 70 meters below the surface. Within a few minutes of Trevor and Owen getting into the water on this second deep dive, Owen was rushed by a shark at about 17 meters, coming up from the bottom to investigate. So at the back of Trevor's mind, he knew that he would be running the gauntlet again. For a spear fisherman, sharks are also a good sign, as sharks and sparrows generally like the same areas for exactly the same reason, fish. On this second dive, Trevor was somewhat fatigued from the effort of the first descent, so decided not to go to the bottom and rather treat it as a scouting dive. It came as a bit of a surprise after all the deep dives Trevor has done in search of fish to drop down onto such an abundant reef structure with so many different species at depth. There were fish everywhere. If this had been Trevor's first dive of the day, he certainly would have dropped down to the deck at 62 meters and got the result he was after. Unfortunately, all the timing was just wrong today, but that is fishing. And at least Trevor now knows exactly where he can find fish in the deep, and he can now prepare for the weekend ahead. <laughs> 